everybody. Today we're going to talk about Paulo on Disney Cruise Line and five tips you need to know before you sail. Welcome back. This is Anne with your daily dose of Disney's and we're just going to dive right in. The first tip we have for Paulo is to make a reservation. You're going to have an online process that you can do if you're new to Disney Cruise Line and this is your first cruise, you'll be able to do that online selection process 75 days before you sail. That's when you can make reservations for Paulo. You are only allowed one dinner and one brunch Paulo reservation per sailing. So they do sell out. You can do it, like I said, online. If you are gonna try to do it online, make sure and get on there right away when the selection process opens. I can't remember if that's 12 a.m. Eastern or 8 a.m. Eastern, but check into that and be ready to make your selections. The other thing I would suggest is to not have brunch the day after dinner. They're both pretty heavy meals and back to back can get to be a little much. Brunch is on sea days only, so if you don't have a sea day, it's very probable that there is no Palo brunch on your sailing. Okay, tip number two. Palo is an upcharge restaurant. It's four dollars per person for dinner or for brunch and you want to add the tip on top of that so you'll just want to tip them when you pay for the Paulo meal our third tip is that it's 18 plus and they do make sure that anybody that comes into the restaurant is 18 or over there's also a dress code for men you have to make sure and wear dress pants or slacks and a collared shirt women dress skirt or pants with a blouse jeans are okay but no holes no flip-flops you get it dress nice. Our fourth tip is for brunch. Like I mentioned earlier, you don't want to have it the day after dinner unless you don't have a choice. And in that case, you may just want to do brunch and not dinner. Brunch is by far the favorite, in my opinion. There are a few favorites that you'll hear from everybody, like the chicken parmesan. I personally think it's the bechamel that makes that stand out for people. And also their eggs benedict is amazing. The brunch is just full of so many selections. They have many choices of meats, cheese, breads, pastries, seafood, crab legs, caviar, desserts, and then they have the hot menu with the chicken parm or the eggs benedict or their flatbread. Their flatbreads are really good too, so definitely check out brunch. Our fifth tip is for Apollo dinner. Mushroom risotto and the chocolate souffle are by far the favorites for Apollo dinner. The mushroom risotto is just really good and the chocolate souffle is something I hadn't had before actually and they also bring a vanilla bean sauce to pour into the chocolate souffle. It's just decadent. Okay, and now we also have three pro tips. If you are getting married or doing a vow renewal on Disney Cruise Line, they will include Apollo dinner for the bride and groom with your package. If you are platinum or once you reach platinum, Apollo meal is included with your cruise. And the last pro tip, make sure and get an espresso martini or whatever cocktail of your choice because they have really good ones at Apollo. Okay, that's it for today. Tell us what your favorite is in the comments below. See you real soon.